Okay, so in this short video, I'm going to go through uh, the question 2A from one of the City and Guild's maths papers. Um, I think it's sample 1. Let's just check. So, yeah, sample 1, level 2, function of skills, maths. So, I'm going to go through question 2A now. Um, and question 2A is about food vans, and there's 25 marks for question 2. So... Uh, you're going to look at the area of seating sections a new seating section is bigger than the old one and how many food vans will fit so that's the type of question that you're going to get so here it talks about scale plan of the food zone and the road for access now we've got this space for the food van so this space here, space here for the food vans again this is our entire plan of the zone and here is our key and it says here that two of these big squares is five meters now, if this one here is 2.5 meters, well, we know then we can say that it's one, uh, sorry, a half, one, uh, one and a half, two, two and a half. So each small square is half um, a meter. Okay. So I've just had a quick look at it and tried to get it down into smaller sections. So even though two big squares is five meters, which means one big square must be two and a half meters then each small square must be half a meter one half a meter a meter one and a half two two point five and we're in the middle okay so I've already worked out the most important things I need to know let's have a look at the question work out the dimensions of the seating section and we need to complete this table so first of all we need to work out the side of um, the length of side a in meters so if we look at a and we can actually see there that we have um, one, two, three, four, um, four squares, so that means it will be 10 meters. Now, if I just write that on there so we don't forget, so 10 meters, okay. Two squares is five, and we've got four squares, so that must be 10. And then here I've got one, two, so I'm counting in every five meters here, so five, 10. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So that one's nice and easy. We've got 40 meters at the top. Okay. So if you want to, we can start writing things in so we can say that side A is 10. So I'll just put uh, 10 meters in there. Okay. And we worked out side F, which is 40. Oh, they've already done that for us. Sorry. Okay, then we're going to look at uh, side E. We have 5, 10, 15, 20. And then, as you can see, we've got two small squares. Well, we know that each small square is half a metre. So that's 20 and a half, and then 21. So side E must be 21. Okay, 21. I don't know why my text thing isn't working now. 21 metres. Okay. So, if we have 21 metres, we can put that here as well, to remind us, 21 metres. Then we look and look at side D, which looks okay, I think. So, side D is 5, and then it's not quite 10. So, we've got 5, 7.5, 8, 8.5, 9. So, D is 9. So, we'll put 9 metres there. Okay, and then we can also put 9 metres in our answer for side D. Uh, oh, what have I put 21 metres in? E, wrong one. Sorry about that. So side D is 9. Okay. So finally we can work out side C. Uh, they've already worked out B for us. So side C is 5, 10, 10.5, 11. So for side C, it will be 11. Okay, and we'll add a, another one in here. Okay, so here we have worked out all of the sides for that food van. Okay, now I'm going to move on to the next section because we're going to need to use this information now, uh, I think, to work out the next questions. Now, just say to show you're working in here. Now, it's, for me, it's quite hard to show you're working if you're working off a diagram and you've just got to put your answers in. You won't lose marks uh, if you've put down all of your answers here. You will get them all. But you might lose marks if you're a little bit off with your calculations. In fact, you will lose marks if you're off with your calculations. 
So then um, it says you just need to show a check of how you use the scale in 2A. So uh, it just depends on which check you want to use. Now I would use the easiest one, so I would say let's check side A. So what I would do is I would tick side A, because I'm going to check that side. And then I am going to type in my box what I'm going to check. Now I can say something like 2 squares equals 5 meters, which means 4 squares must equal 10 meters and that's all you need to do you've shown a check okay you're just using a different method you're technically scaling up that's what you're doing when you're writing this so you would get two marks and then question 2c says look at di the diagram in 2a and use your answers to 2a to work out the area of the seating section okay so we've got to work out the area of this seating section so I believe the seating section yeah is here in the middle now for this, what I would do if I was you is split this up into two sections. So um, let me see if I can draw a line. <laughs> yes, I can. Okay, so I want to split this up. I'm going to split that there. Okay, I'm going to split it into two. Now when I work out the area of the seating section, I'm going to work it out as this part first, or whatever, and then this part. Now when we work out the area of a shape, like a rectangle like this, so at the minute we're just looking at this nice big long rectangle, and to work out the area we just need to do length times width, well the length is 40, and the width or the height is 10, and 40 times 10 is 400, okay? So my area for this big section here is going to be 400, and it would actually be 400 meters squared. Okay, and then don't forget your squared is like your little 2, but I'm just going to put a big 2 because I can't put a little 1. So you've already got the area of this large section, so don't worry that this is 21. This 21 was the length of all of this, okay, so I couldn't use it. The only bit I can use is the bit that hasn't been broken off. So this 40 is whole, and so is this 10. Okay, so you've actually got enough to um, to work out the area of that section. Now we're going to look at this section. This section also has two whole uh, measurements, none that have been broken up, like this 21. So what we need to do here is 11 times 9. So let me just write that in. Okay, so 11 times 9 equals 99 meters, and then uh, squared, I guess. So I'll put my squared in again, a little 2, a big 2 in this case. Okay, and so now you've worked out the area of this large section and the area of this small section. You've got 400 meters here and 99 meters here. So if I go down here to my working out section, I can put in all of my working out that I did earlier. So we did 40 times 10 equals 400, and 9 times 11 equals 99. 400, we must add them together to get our final answer. So our final answer now is just 499 meters squared. Okay? When you're working out area and perimeter, just be very careful with the sections that you're using. So area, you must work out the area of the entire thing, but it only wants the area for the seating section. So it was just, it was basically all of this, okay, that you needed to work out inside, but I split it into two to make it easier. All right. Okay, so on to the next section, also about area. Last year, the area of the seating section was too small. The organisers claim that the area of the seating section at the new venue is over 50% larger than the seating section at the old venue. The seating section at the old venue was 320 metres squared. Use your answer from 2C to compare the size of the seating sections at the two venues. State whether the organisers claim is true. Okay, so we know that last year it was 320 metres squared. I'm just going to write 320. Okay, and it was said they said it was too small. They have said that it is now 50% larger, okay, this year. Well, this year we know it's 499 metres squared. We've just worked it out. And if it's 50% larger than last year's, we need to work out 50% of last year's amount 
and add it on and see if it's the same. So we have 320 and to find 50% of that, I can just half it, okay, or I can times by 0 0.5, okay. So we've got 160 there, that is 50%. We're now going to take our 320 and add on 160, okay. So giving us a total of 480 meters squared. Okay, at this time I will put my little two in just because I want it to look nice. So 480 meters squared. It says the organizers claim that the area of the seating section at the new venue is over 50% larger than the seating section at the old venue. Well, actually it's not over 50% larger because it's only it's um sorry, it is over 50% larger because 50% is 480 and we've actually got 499. So it is larger. So it then says, is the statement true? You will tick yes and then you'll put in your explanation. And in your explanation, you will say exactly what it is that you've worked out. Okay, so the new venue is 50% larger because... Uh, what was it? 320. Uh, let's write it down here. 320 plus 50 percent equals 480. And this year's venue actually has an area, or has an area, of 499 meters squared. So I'm going to put my little squares in. Let me just little two, my little two there. Sorry, see all this messing about when you've got to do it on computers. Okay, so now you have your um, your final answer, and you'll get the whole time, whole five marks for that. Okay, right. So that's the area and perimeter questions that I wanted to go through. The next part to question two is about formula. I will go through that in a separate video because it does. Um, have more information in there that you need to know that isn't just based on area and perimeter. And then I just want to check this one. I think it's more of a perimeter question, but I'll see. Okay, so I hope that really helped you and you understand that area uh, that area question in a bit more detail. Uh, it's quite long-winded and they give you a lot of information for what you actually have to do, which is why people get confused. So just try your best to um, read the questions carefully, try and break them down and try and do a little bit of a t at a time. Sometimes you don't know where your answers are going to go until you actually get there. So just keep trying, keep having a go. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at info at cubateducation.com and I'll um, look forward to seeing you next time.